Fashion designer Eli Tahari is solidifying his status as an icon. New York's Sephardic Jewish Film Festival recently honored the acclaimed fashion designer with a Lifetime Achievement Award. Correspondent Marie Jean Trick caught up with Tahari about his life and career on the evening he received the honor and found out that his journey is far from over. That's Israeli fashion designer Helita Ari receiving an award at the Sephardic Jewish Film Festival. Come on with me. It's a prize to honor his career in the Big Apple. I came to New York primarily for one reason, to work and save money to help my mother. She was sick in Israel. And I ended up staying here for over 40 years. 40 years in which Tahari has built a fashion empire with more than 600 stores spread out in more than 40 countries around the world. Tahari offers luxury clothing for women, dresses, coats, blazers, jumpsuits, and suits. I like this piece. It's a raincoat with a leopard color, animal print. It's beautiful inside. The leopard goes all the way through. I like the cotton suiting for spring, summer. This is all a spring-summer collection. This is beautiful. It's classic wear. The price tag? His creations go from $150 to more than $1,000 each. Eli Tahari is sophisticated, elegant, a modern, sexy, smart woman because it's quality, it's a great fit, and it's not trendy, but it's with a trend. Celebrities such as Angelina Jolie, Kim Kardashian, and Beyoncé wear his garments. Major fashion publications such as Vogue and Elle feature his work. In 2006, Time magazine profiled Tahari. In 2013, New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg created Elite Tahari Day on September 4th to pay tribute to his career. Today, Tahari is a $300 million brand and he still doesn't take anything for granted. The only guarantee you have in fashion it's a change itself, so it's not easy to stay current. Tahari says to stay current, he finds inspiration in his day-to-day -day life. There is many, many places to go in New York that you can see fashion. I, I like to go to the CFTA, the Council Fashion of America. I see a lot of uh, women dressed up there. I go to restaurant. Which restaurant? I go to John George. I go to the Mark Hotel. It's also John George. I go to Maria. Tahari says he also picks up ideas from his birthplace. Uh, Israeli fashion is very advanced. They're very creative there. But they're good in the casual clothes, in the jeans, in the t-shirt, in the summer clothing, in bathing suit. So when it comes to that, they are very inspiring. But I have a few Israeli designers working for me in New York. Tahari has not only witnessed trends changing, but he's also seen his industry going through what he calls a revolution. The stores are not selling as much in a department store as they used to sell. They sell mostly online. You have Amazon, you have all kinds of websites that selling fashion. So fashion becoming a very technical e-commerce and it's very tough. To face the challenge, Tahari is developing his business online. He's created his own website where customers can choose among hundreds of items and get them delivered at home. Tahari also has another strategy. He's trying to expand his brand. We're concentrating on the licensing, licensing the name for different products. And that seems to be the cash cow, where the money comes from, mostly. Not from our industry, but from the licensing. Well, we're trying to license menswear, uh, a high level of women's shoes. Uh, we're trying to license the perfume. We like to develop that, a makeup line, high quality Elite Harry handbag. So we are actively looking to license the name. Tahari's empire is not done growing yet. Look out for the next generation of Tahari designers. His 18-year-old son, Jeremy Tahari, launched his own brand a few months ago. Here again, luxury clothing, but no dresses or jumpsuits. We are talking about streetwear for men. Marie-Jean Trick, I24 News.